Oh boy, I haven't been on the Pokemon website in a while. Gosh, I wonder if there's been any big news lately. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh no! It's been 25 years since Pokemon's inception, and it's quickly become one of the most recognizable franchises in the world. My first experience with the series came on Christmas in 2007, when I got Pokemon Diamond. Since then, I've collected games, pins, even cards, but I never learned to play with them. Now, with all the idle time on my hands, and this being Pokemon's 25th anniversary, I decided to break new ground and learn to play the Pokemon trading card game. Looking online, it's plain to see that most single cards are incredibly cheap, allowing newcomers to come in and build the decks they want without having to waste a ton of cash. However, now that I'm a little bit older, a little bit dumber, and with a little bit of my own money, I've decided to not only learn how to play the game, but to play it the way the Pokemon company intended, by giving them all my money. So, this is my jumping off point. With almost zero knowledge of the game and its meta, I'll be buying sealed product to take online and begin working my way up the competitive leaderboard. This is Pokemon Zero Point. Yo, Alola brother, and welcome to episode two. So I actually went ahead and read the big scary post that Pokemon made. And as it turns out, we've got more time. The set rotation won't be until September 10th of this year. So until then, we're booling my guy. Any extra time with our amazing league battle deck, what with its boss monsters and fantastic staple cards is very much so welcome by me. But as good as it is, we are still having issues. Aside from my abundance of misplays, the deck's suffering from a lack of consistency. With only six cards in the deck that guarantee our ADP, it's difficult to use altered creation early on in the game, let alone on our first turn going second. To increase our odds of that and improve the deck tremendously, we could buy a second league battle deck, but that's not really the route I want to take. Instead, what I'd like to do is get a big box of lasting staples. And I think I know just the one. Oh yeah, I persuaded Jack to join us on our challenge. Not only will we be competing with him, but he'll be fleshing out his deck same as us. Without further ado, here's John with the opening. Uh, the trainer's toolkit. Everything you need to build a very powerful deck. It's got some cardboard, uh, two books, and other stuff. I guess extra burn and poison counters, extra dice. Ooh, and a fancy one. Ooh, we actually get sleeves. I didn't, I didn't buy any sleeves. So that's that's nice. Brick of energies. Oh, this is literally just every single energy. Oh wow. Oh, it's a. Oh, why aren't they organized? Why they do this? La pièce de résistance. Our staple cards. This rat. This creature. Oh no. Oh no, it's not sorted. Oh god. All right, hold on. And then he sorted it. Okay, so staple cards we're getting out of here. We have two copies of Dende GX. I don't think we'll be using these. Probably the most useful card. Two Malo and Lana. Two Marnie. Two Professor's Research. Two copies of Boss's Orders. Aurora Energy, and finally two Twin Energy. The box is already more than paid for itself, but the kind people of Pokemon decided to include two Rebel Clash, a Sword and Shield, and a Burning Shadows pack for us to open. We're gonna go ahead and start with Burning Shadows. This is the fun part. And then it's like three to the front and then the energy. I believe so. Let's see, did I do this right? Oh, I, I did it right. So we get a man. Uh, monkey, uh, Anteater, Charmander, Polygon, <laughs> oh that's, I like that one. Oh, oh I saw something, oh no, oh, I'm ruining the surprise, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, uh, Bodybuilding, Dumbbells, and nothing. We got Pampor, Hand Sage, we got Esper, Sock, Noivat, ah, Reverse Beware, and 
regular rare Heracross. We've also got a Fairy Energy, Semipur, Rotom Dex, and Potem. Next, we'll go into Sword and Shield, the Gross Ring. We'll do one, two, three, four off the back. So we got Grass Energy, Galarian Stunfisk, Raboot, Hop, Roselia, Pharaseed, Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossifleur, Reverse Hollow Double, and it's something. It's a hit. We got Snorlax V. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Pack numero dos. Three to the front. For the energy. We got Giant Enemy Spider. Loon. Actually, we do have Valerian Zigzagoon, so we can unironically play this, but it's probably not good. Another switch. Oh, God, I'm not good at this. Oh, oh no. Oh God, I saw something. Well, a toy, uh, fish, plant. Another, literally the exact same Zigzagoon. So that's very cool. Muna. Ooh, monkey. And big. Big boy, big man, big out of 10. Cool, that's probably worth like a single dollar, maybe 90 cents. They'll go over there. Third pack's gonna be Rebel Clash. We got Leaf Energy, Burning Scarf, Oleana, Luxio, Voltorb, Sandy Gast, Vulpix, Coughing, Shinx, Wish Cash, and our final card is Alchemy. That one's so cute. Yeah, it's a little cake girl. Oh my god, like my Naldo. Three to the front. Psychic. That means something to someone. Bear. Uh, woman. I like Luxio. Uh, ball picks. The coughing. Uh, Shanks to go with that. Your mask. Apple. Oh, we get Zaxagoon and uh, Clefable. Okay, they're, they're sh it's shiny. That's something. And then now the last pack. Three to the front. The energy. Ooh, it's it's steel. That that could mean something because we like steel. We got Metagod. Another scraper. Just Dan. Shoutouts to Dan. Grubbin. Uh, Seagull. Natu. Yo, fucking Barbara Roach. Uh, we got Scovit. Yo! We got Sick Mode Barbara Roach. And. Oh. Uh, Ew. Start off with the Dark Energy, Palpitoad, Capture Energy. That could be useful. Chatot, Snover, Snover, Binacle, Galarian Daramaka. We got Vulpix, Milkery. Tim Pool and Scizor as the rare. Well, I'm gonna go through all this, pack it all into our deck, and uh, show you what we've got. Well, this isn't gonna work. All right, so here's the new deck list. We didn't make many changes to the deck, but I'm hoping what is different will be substantial in our games today. So we've got two Dedenne GX, with its day day change ability allowing us to draw six new cards by discarding the rest of our hand when we play it from the hand to the bench. That was a lot of words. Um, let's see, we've also got Reset Stamp, that'll allow us to shuffle our opponent's cards back into their deck, and then for each prize card they have, they draw a new card. That'll get rid of some big hands and provide us with some advantage, hopefully. Um, let's see, what else? We've got one last professor's research to make room for a tool scrapper, which allows us to discard up to two Pokemon tools anywhere on the field. We've also got Vitality Band in here for the very, very, very situational purpose of killing Dedenes with ADP if I don't already have Altered Creation off. I don't think it's ever going to come up, but if it does, it'll be awesome. And, you know, if it doesn't, we're going to get rid of it next week anyway, so who cares? Uh, also, we've got two new bosses orders, and I've added air balloons to the deck. So, let's go try it out, see how it goes. I know at the beginning of these episodes, I say we're working our way up the competitive leaderboard. 
But what does that really mean? Well, Pokemon has recently announced an event for the summer called the Pokemon Team Challenge. Qualifiers are being held all around the world right now to put together teams that'll pit OTS Store against OTS Store. I've entered one of these tournaments happening this Sunday, May 2nd, all in the hopes of winning and getting closer to our end goal of becoming the world champion. To have even a modicum of a chance, this week's battles really need to count. So I'm thinking we skip the versus ladder and head straight into a PTCGO tournament. We'll find some sweaty tryhards and beat them at their own game. Or, well, that's the idea anyway. Match number one. We're able to start with our space dogs and have Meowth on the bench. Our hand is a little troublesome to work with, but more on that in a second. Our opponent is playing a single striker Shifu deck and are able to set up two Houndour, the Urshifu, and able to get our scroll on there. Unfortunately, seeing two of our draw cards in hand, I begin thinning the deck. Discarding Dedenne in the process, and the professor's research will net us an extra card. Not wanting the saucer to go to waste, I attach to Meowth in order to energy switch it later. Then I attach a water energy before researching. Our new hand is rough, and seeing two more research really hurts. We play a Rangaroo for the extra card, but are forced to pass. On the other side of the board, our opponent VMAXes in our Shifu and begins setting up a second after a day day change. They play an Air Bloom, then Marnie us into a much better hand. They switch into our Shifu and accelerate some energy before passing turn. I start my turn with a Saucer to Meowth that I switch on to ADP. I attach a third energy before playing Research. Our new hand is pretty nutty, and I start by getting out a Zacian on the bench. I mistakenly damage a Houndoom with Zigzagoon thinking Houndoom did damage to itself when it accelerated energy, then use Altered Creation before passing turn. My opponent attaches an energy before using Marnie. They found two Hound Dooms and power up their Urshifu VMAX, which easily decimates ADP. Now, with only one energy in play, I get to work discarding their air balloons before retreating into Jirachi. I'm able to find a Metal Saucer to power up Zacian and scoop up Jirachi. After putting him back in the deck, I grab my second Dedenne to get a new hand. Luckily, we find another energy switch and a boss so we can knock out their Urshifu. On their turn, my opponent thins out their deck, stamps me, and draws 7 new cards. They accelerate to our Shifu VMAX again before using Dedenne to get even more cards. It's not enough though. And on my turn, I Marnie myself into a hand that I think can knock out their VMAX. I retreat into Zigzagoon, then scoop it back into my hand, and play it again for an extra 10 damage. Forgetting I don't have Berserker's extra 20 damage, I swing in and it's not knocked out. Thankfully enough, they have no out and lose on their own terms. And with that, we move on to the second round of the tournament. Match number two, we get off to a bit of a rough start having to mulligan twice. Thankfully, it did not matter, like at all. This was a very strange game. My opponent starts with the Zarud V and attaches to a Colossal V before passing turn. All I manage on my turn is an energy to Zacian and an Intrepid Sword, which nets us another energy. On their turn, my opponent plays Pokey Kid, and I lose my mind. For the uninitiated, 
Pokekid is just a quick ball, but uses up a valuable supporter card, which you can only play once per turn. From it, they get Aegislash V and pass. Dumbfounded, I put a Steel Energy back in the deck and get it back with Energy Retrieval. I follow that by bossing their two energy coal man and knock it out with Zacian. On their turn, they VMAX Aegislash and give him an energy. Then they research a whole mess of cards, finding a crushing hammer that discards one of my energy. We see Lugia come down, and then they pass to us. With the sauce in hand, we retreat Zacian, saucer him in energy, damage a huge Aegislash VMAX with Zigzagoon before swinging in with our goodest boy. They heal 60 damage on their turn and pass after attaching an energy. In between bouts of laughter, I forget to retreat Zacian before reusing my Mallow and Lana to switch, so I use Intrepid and give my opponent a chance to live. On their turn, they knock Zigzagoon and pass, allowing me to just take three free prizes. But not before getting Meowth from the deck and playing ADP. Not to mention the research into a guaranteed win next turn meaning we move on to the final round of the tournament. Match number three was our toughest one yet. We both started with Stellar Wish Jirachis, which my opponent was able to use twice on his turn by playing a Rapid Striker Shifu with Air Balloon to retreat, and then using a Scoop Up Net. Again, we have two draw cards in our hand, and I have to make a tough decision. With Switch off the Stellar Wish, I play Lura without using its ability so that I can manipulate Jirachi and hopefully find a Quick Ball. When that fails, I grab a Professor's Research to discard out of spite. I cut the fourth copy out of the deck specifically to avoid situations like this. In the new hand, we manage to find the Quick Ball and I discard Research to use it, forgetting it's my last copy in the deck. Fortunately, with Tag Call, I can get ADP onto the bench at least, and use Zacian's Intrepid Sword for turn, finding two energy. On their turn, my opponent uses Stellar Wish again before communicating a scooped up Jirachi for her Shifu VMAX. With a brand new hand, they manipulate Stellar Wish again, this time with two Jirachis. Ditching some cards, they add a new Rapid Striker Shifu to the bench, along with a Mew 2. Then they Day Day change for even more cards, before passing on a Gale Thrust. I start my turn by switching a Sauce Energy to Zacian, then use Marnie. With the new hand, we get out Berserker, and find a boss I would have liked in my last hand. Holding on to the rest of the cards, I put big damage on their VMAX. In preparations for its demise, they set up a second VMAX, giving it an energy and an air balloon before using Marnie, costing me a big hand next turn. They attack and pass, leaving me in a tight pinch. I start by scrapping their air balloons, and then boss their Mewtwo and attempt to slow them down. Fortunately, it works, and all they have to do is pass. Back to me, I play a new Zacian and search for Dedenne. Unsure of whether or not to stamp them, I don't. Instead, I boss the injured VMAX and change hands. 
After boosting the new Zacia and setting up ADP, I knock out their VMAX with a big Brave Blade. Swapping a third Urshifu for a Mimikyu, they change hands into everything they could ever want. They start by scooping Mewtwo, probably so I could install by bossing it again. They then swing for huge knockouts on my Zacian and Berserker with their Urshifu VMAX. Realizing quickly which way the match was headed, I tried to stage a counter by setting up my second Zacian and thinning my hand before using Altered Creation, keeping an ADP as a wall. Unfortunately, off a of research and a Jirachi, they find a great catcher and knock out our Dedene for a game, costing us the whole tournament. I'm not mad about second place. That's great for us, especially for our second week. So although we didn't win, I am still really proud of the deck. It's kind of giving me a little bit of hope, a little bit of confidence for Sunday? I don't know, I don't know. I won't say anything more. I don't want to jinx it. But with the conclusion of this tournament, let's go take on Jack. I think we've kept him waiting long enough. After all, he still has to try and redeem his honor after last week, so let's jump right into that battle. Okay. Call it in the air, John. Heads. 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 What do you want? Ah, uh, seconds. Okay. Uh, happy hunter. Uh, is that what they say? I think that's the Pokemon term. At three, two. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Harry will go first. All right. Here I go. Okay, we're gonna start by plopping down the dog. Damn. Then I'll use tag call. Grab the boy mm -hmm. and the ladies. So I will throw on a energy disaster in here. Put vitality band onto ADP. Okay. I will intrepid to see three more cards. All right, back to you. Okay, I'll draw for turn. So I'm gonna start off by giving uh, the saucy in a metal. Mm. Look at all these cards I can play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna activate Intrepid Sword. And pass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll draw for turn. We'll go ahead and start with putting Air Balloon on to Meow. And I will quick ball away Boss's orders to search my ever faithful servant, Dark Magician. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's not the wrong. That's the wrong card. I will. Retreat Meowth into Jirachi and use Meowth's uh, Evolution Roar ability to uh, grab Preserker. We're going to go ahead and use Jirachi to look at the top uh, five cards of the deck here. Put that over there. Mm -hmm. I will ask you to pimp my ride. All right. Real question is, does he have the drip? Yeah, we're about to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. Okay. Bring in uh, Adpoo. Mm -hmm. And I will play the Denai from hand to see a total of six new cards. Yeah, these are some cards. I'll toss down a Zacian here. Then we'll activate Energy Spinner. Grab a Water Energy. Okay. And you really, really out of your flex zone. I played one card, <laughs> one card, and you already have a full bench. I mean, you know, the streets, uh, <laughs> the streets raised me this way, John. Uh -huh. There's nothing I could do about it. Yeah, I definitely. It's in my blood. I am looking at my hand, and none of these. So we'll go ahead and attach this here water energy to ADP. Okay. And uh, I will end my turn with a quick altered creation GX. Cool. All right. I'll drop return. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just going to uh, Marnie off the top. Yo, all right. Well, let's hope you get some schmoves right here, John. Oh, these are... Okay, thanks Thanks for telling me that. Now I got some schmoves. Yo, let's see it. Let's see what you got. Right. Put down this Jirachi. Uh, next, 
We'll feed this man an at second metal. We're gonna play on my Nintendo Switch. Oh no. Put him out. Then we'll use Jirachi's effect. Look at the top five. And then these go back and I'm just gonna end my turn with another uh, interrupted, interpreted sword. <laughs> You're interpreting the sword now? I guess. Oh, and I get a third metal. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah. I will do it all. We're going to go ahead and play Switch. Okay. Let me get Adipa out of there. Throw in Jirachi. Okay. And I will go ahead and look at the top five cards in my deck. Oh, uh, do I got to flip a coin? Heads. Nope. Shuffle the rest of these cards back into the deck. I don't know if I showed it well enough, but that's what I'm adding. We're going to go ahead and use Ooh. Scoop Up Map. Mm -hmm. Grab this Jirachi, add it back to hand, and I will promote ADP. And we'll go ahead and attach a third energy here. Neat. I will Marnie us both into a new hand. Oh, well, I feel really dumb for what I did then. <laughs> may or may not have kept a good Pokemon in my hand instead of benching it. Oof. I'm gonna hit you with a big uh, 10 points of damage to your Zacian there. How dare you. And we'll just go ahead and knock out your Jirachi here with uh, Ultimate Ray. Cool, and then you get two cards. Two cards, and then I can attach three energy from the deck to any of my Pokemon. Cool. All right, to start off, I'm gonna use a Quick Ball, discarding this Professor Research to add uh, the, bo the, the boys. Yo, that's the guy. Yeah, it's the man. Uh, then we're going to... The combination of lads. The bench him. Uh, we'll put also this Jirachi on the bench. Give this guy a water. And then we'll do Dende with no cards in hand so we can draw six. Okay, so then next... We need to get some schmoobs going. So... Just move it up, my guy. We're going to then boss order, swap out this for uh, the Zossian with two medals. Okay. Saw this one coming. Can't do that, can't do that. I guess I'll just end my turn with uh, Zossian doing Brave Blade and just blowing up that Zossian oh. and getting two. <sighs> That's what we in the auto industry refer to as a a uh, broken radiator. Mm-hmm. So we'll go ahead and bring a... Uh, no, just kidding. Joke's in a half. Yo. This man has a balloon on him. That's the guy I want. All right, well then, draw your, draw your card for My there. last pathetic card. Uh-huh. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do a mildly uneventful turn. I'm going to go ahead and attach Zossian here. I will use Boss's Orders to bring up your Dedenne. How dare you? He's just a boy. Yeah, well, soon he's about to be roadkill. Quick ball away this research for another Dede. I'll go ahead and switch into uh, ADP over here. And you really needed him to have that balloon on. Just in case, Squidward. Just in case. Okay, we're going to go ahead and drop this Dede. I will trash those and we'll see six new cards. Uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Seven. Too many. Reset stamp you to four cards, please. Do I get to pick? No. You uh, shuffle that into your deck, oh, and, and then you draw the new cards. How dare you? You're getting all these tech cards I didn't think about. All I did was just add more, add more of the same cards and put in some rats. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this big charm to Zossian while you're doing that. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, ultimate ray your Dedenne for three, three prize cards. So we'll grab... I don't know what you... You don't want one there. Does it have to choose or is it up to three? Up to the... Okay, so you can just do one. So we'll do one here and then... I'll put... a water on Zigzagoon. So I'll draw for turn. We'll give this a metal energy. We're gonna Marnie again. Sure. <laughs> wow, sick hand. And then next, we're going to Quick Ball, discarding this metal energy to search the other saucy end. Oh my god, he's doing, he's doing the schmoof. Yeah. The bread and butter combo. Yeah, I finally get to do... I don't have the follow-up. Oh. I had it in my last hand, but... <laughs> 
he's there. He's finally here performing for you. Uh, then... So I think the dog is just gonna do, uh, 230 to, uh, your diet. Oh, the RCS and pull. Yeah. Epic. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and draw for turn. And we'll just go ahead and pull a tactical retreat here. Okay, he's paying the troll toll. I'll pay the troll toll. Three energy to the discard pile. Get out your own dog. Bring out my dog. And, uh... He'll punch you really hard in the face. How dare you? He was just a dog. And I'll take my last prize card and the game. Cool. My first hand literally was, yeah, two copies of energy switch, a water energy, the one Zossie and I drew, and then two bosses over. <laughs> so I was just sitting there like, yeah, I, I definitely did not get the ball rolling at the start. Oh, you hate to see it. What was prize? Damn it, I can't blame that. I can't blame like I prized everything good. Sorry, John. Damn it. I I don't I don't want to be responsible for my poor choices. <laughs> I I want to blame factors I cannot control. Uh, goodness me. Well, good game. Good game. Well, the video's already running long, so I'm gonna try and keep this short. I think this week was really good for us. We had pretty strong success in that tournament, and it's making me feel really good about next week. Especially after battling John and taking the second win from him. Next week, in an attempt to improve our consistency further, I think what we want to do is increase our number of boss monsters. Getting a second ADP would be a little bit tough, but thankfully, getting a third Zacian is way easier. So maybe we'll look to getting that. As always, make sure to dislike this video if you hated it, tell your friends, have them come and dislike it, get a whole party going on in the comments describing each and every part you hated from the video, and uh, I will take it all into consideration and cry myself to sleep. Okay, this has been me. I hope you have a good evening, morning, night, whatever. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Ciao.